In this tutorial, we'll be going over the e-commerce module. The e-commerce module is integrated with WooCommerce, and it allows you to display your WooCommerce products um, throughout the builder. Now, Divi is fully in, uh, compatible with WooCommerce, which means it'll work just like any other WooCommerce theme. You don't necessarily need to use the builder. In fact, when you create um, products, they'll be added to categories that you can link to directly from your menu. You can create standard pages and use standard WordPress shortcodes on standard pages without the builder. You can also use WooCommerce shortcodes within the builder inside text modules. And um, you can build your normal checkout pages and uh, shopping cart pages and all of that just like you normally would. But in addition to that, we've also added an e-commerce module, which makes it a little bit easier to add um, certain like product highlights throughout your page. So you can use the e-commerce module to display a list of your recent products, um, a list of your top rated products, a list of your um, products that are on sale, uh, etc. So the first thing you'll need to do is install WooCommerce. So go over to WooThemes.com slash WooCommerce and download WooCommerce and install it. Or um, just search in your uh, WordPress dashboard or plugin, search for WooCommerce and you can download it from the repository as well. Once you add it, you'll need to add some products, otherwise nothing will show up in your module. So on your um, WordPress dashboard, once you install WooCommerce, you can go down to uh, products, there'll be a new products tab, and you can go products, add product to add a new product, uh, and give it a product name, description, and you also need to add a featured image for the product to show up in the module as well. And then you'll see all your standard WooCommerce uh, settings here. And you can go over to WooCommerce at WooThemes.com and read their documentation. They have a bunch of great stuff about how to use WooCommerce. So I won't get into that uh, in this tutorial. Uh, once you've added your products, you can start displaying them um, as modules in the builder. So here's an example of, like a, of a shop page. So we'll try creating something like this. I'm going to add a new page, call it Demo Shop. We're going to use the builder for the page. Uh, at the top, I'll add a standard header. So I'm going to add a new full width section, add a full width header, my store, subheading, welcome to my store, text color, and keep it light as I'm going to change the background to a orange that you saw in the other preview. Click Save. Give my heading a nice background color. Alright, let's preview our changes. So, so far I've just added a header and now I'm going to add uh, the store below using the e-commerce module. So in this empty row, I'm going to add a new full one column row and then add the e-commerce module. So look for the shop module. Now for type, you can choose a few different types. You can choose to display your recent products, your featured products, your sale products, the best selling products, or your top rated products. So I'm going to just display my recent products. Now since uh, I'm Adding it to a uh, one column row, you're going to want to have uh, four columns of images to be um, to display the optimum amount of images in one row. Now if you were adding the shop module to a one half column instead of a full column, then you'd probably want to do two columns. And if you were adding it into a one fourth column, you'd probably want to do one column. Otherwise, things aren't going to line up very well. So I'm going to do four columns of products. I'm going to display eight products. You can choose your sorting. So you can sort by popularity, by rating, by date, or by price. I'm just going to sort by, um, sort by rating. And then click Save. So I've added my shop. Let's preview it. So you can see I have four columns within my one column row. I have eight products. 
And that's a basic overview of the shop module.